let's take a look at the start list for the women's and there are two big big names there in six and seven beth potter and cassandra bogran the world number one and two a dual olympic medalist in lane four from america the only non-european in fact it is Katie Zafiris, twice a Super Tri champion. Look out as well for Lena Meister, the German. She brings plenty of experience. Once again, Super Tri pits the best against the best. It's world numbers one and two going head to head. I think we're quite evenly matched. I think um, I'm probably better at the longer stuff. Yeah, she's an amazing runner. She's coming from running, so yeah, she's good. She's definitely quicker over shorter reps. I'm good on the 10K pace. I've always had some speed. My swim is one of my strengths. I think my swim is actually as good maybe sometimes as my run. I don't mind chasing, I don't mind being out front. Um, I'll just go hard as possible. To win this race against Cassandra, I think I will need to put the pressure on early on. I think it will be a close race. But I will still be happy to win. I'm currently number two, so <laughs> I'm the underdog. <laughs> Look clean from here and now the pain begins. Very, very tight in the opening 25. Cassandra Bogran in the purple middle of your screen is starting to pull away though. And on her hip in the yellow, that is Beth Potter. Cassandra Bogran has gone out super fast. Is she going for a record here? She holds the current record in the water at the moment. It is a 2.10. Bogran's out of the water, probably three to four seconds now. De Potter, who launches herself out, actually takes a little second longer. Zephyrus was out there first, but Potter runs around the outside. She's got less far to run. There she is. She's got less far to run than the other two to their bikes, and on she hops. So gets the pedals turning a little bit quicker than Zephyrus, who's still trying to get a feed in. And she's rocking and rolling and up into it quickly. Into her work is Potter to try and limit that swim speed of Cassandra Bogran. Potter is pushing up on the back of Cassandra Bogran and that three or four seconds she had out of the swim has disappeared. And here comes Potter to land the first mental blow. On the bottom of your screen in the red, Katie Zafiris is just pushing big gears. She's rocking and rolling. Look at those shoulders go. She's really putting her body into to the whole generating that power. Here goes Potter, they can see it on the big screen and they are willing the Brit on. Look at might live in Loughborough, but look at those faces. French. There's a laser beam focus there from both those women. What a, run, what a run showdown we're about to have. And oh, Cassandra's off first. Yep, wow, that was quick. Cassandra's got the jump here. Can she get her shoes on quick enough? Katie Zafiris is right behind them. Not quite as fast, that's where the experience shows. Katie Zafiris has done plenty in Super Try, but she's never been here. And it is a run showdown between probably the two fastest runners in triathlon right now in the women's field, and also the two favorites for Paris. And both of them will want to make sure they land this blow early. The two of them are neck and neck through the park, and now 300 metres down, still 700 to go. The one place you, you can break Cassandra Bogrand's is psychologically. I think she's pretty invincible physiologically, but psychologically, she kind of gets a bit unnerved when she realises she's being pushed. And at the moment, Beth Potter is pushing her, and she looks to me like she's a second or two ahead of her now on the run. But at the moment, three seconds now uh, ahead of Bogran. This is turning out to be a really interesting run. It is, and Katie Zafiris has gapped Tanya Neubert. She's now five seconds clear and 14 and a half seconds behind Bogran, who is now three and a half seconds behind Potter. Make that four and a half. So as we get to the last 100 metres of the run, Beth Potter is going to take around a five-second advantage as she finishes having taken down Bogran on the run. The time starts ticking in stage two. 22 seconds covering the field at the moment. Of course, we add these gaps to the gaps from stage one to determine the pursuit start times for stage three, where we go back to swim, bike and run. And usually we see things get very, very tough for the backmarker athletes as the two of them who've been stuck together for the entire time continue to be. Potter from Great Britain, Bogran from France. The two of them starting off again, immediately getting some water. Bogran straight into her work though, Potter, and she is up and she has really strong start. 
watching Potter there, you know, she really does nail every single transition. She just doesn't make a mistake, and I hope I'm not going to jinx her there. Well, it's interesting that you said, I mean, we've been talking about it, and it's been reflected on the screen. So they ran at 2.57, both of them, in the run. So there was nothing between them at all. There was a handkerchief you could throw over them when they transitioned. Then they get onto the bike, and it's two seconds. It's 40 metres. And that is simply because for about five seconds, Beth Potter puts out six watts a kilo, and you can see the gap between them now. We are at the halfway point, 2,000 metres to go in this bike leg which means we are, I guess, bang straight in the middle of this World Championship final. And there is nothing between our two protagonists, and there is not much between our top three at the moment. Bo has got Potter in his sights. The gap is now under one second. Zephyrus is seven seconds back. Neubert has managed to gap Meisner, and the two of them are looking Ooh. at each other. Did you see that? I saw that. Oh, Potter's <laughs> looking over and thinking, We've this is it. Now, Bogran is responding. Look at the screen. Bogran wants to finish this one first. She's not going to. The two of them are looking at each other, and Zafiris is sitting in the wings. Now they're going to have to loosen their shoes. You can see Beth Potter's shoes are done up. Cassandra's look like they're quite loose. There's one yep, shoe. One goes off. One goes okay, off. She's off. Another one out. The two of them are together. It's exactly what it was in the last transition. Now it's time for goggles on, it's time for swim cap on, it's time to get in the water and have a head-to-head -head in the pool in front of this crowd here in London, and Potter's going to get in first like she always does. Cassandra Beaugrant is already alongside Beth Potter. Beth Potter well, has to go with her. She it has was to go five with seconds, her. so there's five seconds in the bank for Beth Potter from stage one. There is 150 metres to go in stage two. They are going to touch together. But at the moment, virtually, Potter is five seconds clear ahead of stage three. So we need Bogran, if they're going to finish level at least, to steal five seconds on Potter. But the two of them, well, they look like a mirror image of each other. This is such confidence for Beth Potter. We, we know in, in the previous swim in the first round, she lost five seconds to Cassandra Bogran. Here, she's lost maybe two seconds because she dived in first. But this is going to give us such confidence going into the second round. And do you know what? Katie Seferes is not losing time to either of them as well. As much as Cassandra's taking the lead now, it's, it's not going to be enough to, to, to close that five second it's deficit. Not. What a race, what a show we have here in London at the finals. They're going to touch at the same time, just about. And they do, and I think it was Potter just who manages to hold off Bo Grant. And that is a big boost for Beth Potter in her home race. I need to stay as close as possible, so, yeah, just had her in the corner of my, of my eye and just, yeah, try to keep her there. The green light goes and Beth Potter goes into the water. The cheer of the crowd tells the story. Five second wait and into the water goes Cassandra Bogran. So this is going to have to be a big, big swim from Bogran, who has already taken a few metres out of Potter. A fatigued swim and a fresher swim. Wow. What's the difference? But Bogran is swimming well, like a champion. Well, you can clearly see Cassandra Bogran has gone out so fast in that first um, 30 metres. She's closed but more than half of that in the first length alone. But look at that. Beth Potter is still turning She's ahead. She's good on the turns, yeah, isn't look, she? She's she, catching her on the turns. Yeah, she came to triathlon as a 10,000 metre runner and made the Olympics in that. And then since 2017, she had a meteoric rise as Bogran just nudges ahead to European champion in 2019. And she has just become a complete athlete, Potter. And she has, well, become world champion in 2023, if you don't mind. And the one and two in the world are one and two in the pool. And they are one and two as we head to Paris. And Bogran will get out of the water first. But Potter has the transitions to match anybody as out they come. This is key here. This is important. OK, hat off in the bin. She needs to get in front of her. She's in front of her. But now she, Cassandra Bogran is running past her. Let's see. You're going to get on the bike basically Don't take exactly a drink. the same Don't time. Take a drink. Go, go, go. Hard oh, early. Oh, look at Beth. Oh, she can't get a foot in. Oh, she's lost some time precious there. Precious seconds. Precious seconds. At the start of the day and at the end of the day, there is nothing between them whatsoever. What's fascinating here, if you look at Katie Zafira's split, she is still 30 seconds back. That was the split when she dived in the yeah. water. She has swam and biked so far exactly the same. She's like a diesel engine, Katie. If there was five rounds, 
she'd start to take time back. If we went for two hours of this, she'd still be taking time out of the opposition. This is psychological. Beth, Beth, Beth Potter is trying to get in front of her. Cassandra Beaugrant so far is saying no. They are riding next to each other, not just in Zwift, but in the real world. Their, their bike stations are right there. They can feel each other's movement when they're out the saddle. I think in the, in the history of Super Tri, we have never seen a better race with bigger stakes than this. And there's two seconds between them with about 30 seconds to go on the bike. Are oh, the tables turning? You've got to remember that interview um, that uh, Beth Potter gave um, after the second stage saying that she felt really good. Cassandra Bogan could hear that and she can either use that to fuel the fire or go, oh dear, how am I going to beat the current world champion, the lady who won the Olympic test event? In oh, three minutes off. time. Look at that. In There's three minutes here. time, we are going to find out whether Cassandra Bogran can steal a world title. The last transition of the evening in the World Championship Finals. And Potter gets on first, and the crowd tells the story. One kilometre to go, these two head to head for a one day world title. 200 metres to go, and it looks like Potter has the advantage, and it looks like the advantage is getting a little bigger, although now Bogran. Bogran's not running quite as quick. Beth Potter there is hurting, you can see that. Oh, look she is at digging Bogran. in. This look is how much face. she wants it. Oh, this is the first time we've seen her really hurting today. It's written all over her face, it really is, as Potter now takes a four second advantage over Cassandra Bogran. And in 2024, with 100 metres to go, she is getting faster and faster and faster. And here comes the finish. And here is your world champion. It is Beth Potter. What a race we just witnessed. Probably the best in the history of Super Try, and Beth Potter did it in the end. She broke Cassandra Bogran on that run. She was just too strong. She called it like she saw it, and she did the job as well. Katie Sophia has hung on for a creditable third from Tanya Neumann, who was strong, and Lena Meissner, who rounded out the top five. I think I had a little mistake on the second transition, so... I hurt a bit myself on the calves doing that, and then I completely cramped at some point on the run, so I'm a bit disappointed about that. This is my season opener, opener today, so yeah, I didn't really know where the form is at, and um, yeah, I'm just really, really happy to, um, to, to, to take the win.